Hey guys, it's Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do my review for the house before for Saturday and this week I am talking about A Haunting in Salem. Yes, A Haunting in Salem. I uh, just watched this movie this weekend. First of all, I hope everybody's having a fantastic, fun, and safe weekend. I'm enjoying my weekend. First of all, I turned 23 yesterday, so a big woo there. And it's nice, warm fall weather, sunny out, so happy with that. And I got to watch a fun movie, a fun horror flick. Uh, you know, not the best, but fun. I did, and I will talk about that in a minute. Uh, basically, with the plot of this film, it is about a family of four who moved to Salem because the father just got a job as a sheriff. Uh, right off, and I will say in the beginning of the movie, you have a different family and crazy things happen then. But the main plot is about a family moving into this strange house that looks creepy. The family thinks it looks pleasant, but the kids are like, no way. Uh, the mom thinks it looks pleasant, so... Uh, but they move in, and right off, strange things happen. First, they hear noises, objects move around, they find some objects, um, they find a dead crow in this movie. That's a no-no. If you find a dead crow, get yourself out of that house. Don't even stay there. Um, and then weird other things happen, like... Uh, there's some night- the family has nightmares, especially the father. They start seeing things, especially the father. Uh, the daughter gets strange messages from this emailer, and then she gets sick, and then weird things happen with her in the movie as it goes on. Uh, but, you know, you know, things go on right away, so you're not gonna have slow burning moments, so if you're wondering about that, you're not gonna get it with A Haunting in Salem. Um, so it is a typical ghost story flick, but it's fun. Overall, I have to say, again, thought it was a fun flick. Did I think it was one of the better Haunted House films? No. Um, but it's definitely not the worst. It is just an average fun popcorn flick. And when I mean popcorn flick, or fun popcorn flick, you're gonna get a average ghost story film with silly moments. Uh, there was times in this movie where I was talking to the TV, and I do that sometimes with these horror movies. I'm like, why would you go there? Don't go up in the attic. Please don't go up in the attic. Um, or, you know, please don't do that. You're going to get killed. For me, if I was in these movies, I would see a visible sign that said, Don't go in there. Warning. You're going to die. That would be me. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to the Holiday Inn, chilling by the pool. That's me. Uh, but in this movie, they decide to stay after all this bizarre stuff happens in the movie. And they go in those little hallways and, yeah. So, uh, but it was typical. It was fun. But it wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. Um, I did have a fun time seeing it, so that was a positive thing. Uh, the only two negative things I could think about are situations that the family goes through or they put themselves in. Um, also, in my opinion, I saw some CGI that wasn't needed. Um, I, I could be wrong, I could be seeing things, but I thought I saw a good amount of uh, CGI uh, that wasn't needed, but in today's horror films, you're not gonna get like the practical effects like you used to. You're gonna get um, some silly CGI sometimes. Unless it's well done. That's a different story. Uh, but so those are the two negative things I have to say about the movie. Uh, did I think it was great or awesome or fantastic? No, but I think it was fun. It was silly. The ending could have been better, but you know, you got a fun ending. Uh, but yeah, so average fun popcorn flick for The Haunting in Salem. Not the best, not the worst, but just average, you know. It is fun to watch um, around October, especially if you want something new to watch for a horror movie. Uh, I would say if you have a video store near you, to rent it first before you decide to buy it, because you might not like it if you buy it. Um, so definitely rent it, be safe and rent it first. Um, but yes, again, just a fun movie to watch. So. That is going to be my review on A Haunting in Salem. Uh, real quickly, I'll talk about the special features. You get original widescreen presentation. You get a 5.1 surround sound, uh, making of haunting featurette, trailers, and gag reel. And something interesting about this movie, it was actually shot in 3D. Now, I don't know if there's a 3D movie out there or a 3D version, but this is definitely 2D. So that was kind of interesting to find out. But uh, Haunting in Salem, definitely a fun popcorn flick. So that is going to be my review this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody have a rest of the fun, fantastic week and, or weekend. And then have an awesome, fantastic week. So I will see you guys next Saturday on the House of Horror. So everybody, you guys rock. And I will see you guys later. Okay, bye.